Welcome Capricorn. Okay, so we are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now. Um, so whenever you find this video is when it is right for you because there is no um, time stamped or date stamped on this video. And um, if it doesn't resonate for you, check out your other placements in your birth chart because they may um, resonate with you. Okay, so Avalon Magic is what we will be using today. Wild Child Oracle cards also, and this deck of cards that I have no name for. Okay, but um, yeah, we are using those anyway. Okay, so they were given to me a, um, a number of years ago with a guidebook, and I don't remember the name of them, and I don't have the book anymore. So anyhow, let's get into it. Capricorn, three cards for Capricorn, please. Using the Avalon Magic first. Three cards for Capricorn. There we go, two already, just like that, Capricorn, love it. That's it, one, two, one more, one more. No, that fell out, it didn't jump out. If it's meant to come out, it will. There it is. Okay, that's fallen on the floor, that's right, we'll pick it up when it's time to use it. Okay, actually I'll pick it up now. Okay, so Capricorn, so we have pictures on these cards and there is writing at the back, which I will read, but I like to see what I get from the picture first, which doesn't always um, even marry up with what's on the back, but that's cool because we get more information for you, right? But we have this cup here, wow, this is a new beginning, potentially a new beginning in love, maybe. Um... I, it just reminds me of the Ace of Cups. I can't even get away from that right now. But I love that it's glowing. Look at the glow to it. You know, so this is maybe what it is that you're radiating out. Maybe you've filled your cup and now you are radiating, radiating out, right? So, yeah, let's have a look at it, though. Heal through changing your story. Begin in this moment. Don't look back. See how different it is? <laughs> but that's cool. I like that. Yeah, because like, I suppose the story that we tell is what we manifest, right? We have to be so mindful of our words because when we do tell a story too, it creates a certain vibration within us and that's what the universe responds to. So if we change our story, and it doesn't mean to say that we lie about our story, um, but it just means that we... We kind of like create a new story for ourselves, I suppose. And if we go to tell the story that we don't want or we didn't like, we change the, we change the subject, right? So, yeah, two cards for that card because there's no name. There we go, just like that. Okay, Ardor. Yeah, this is really looking at um, sort of the bright side of things, right? Um, and seeing the magic seeing the magic um so yeah if you want a magical life if you want a bright life this is the kind of thing that you need to be focusing on and the story that you need to tell so let's have a look two cards for a door Ardor for Capricorn please two cards so yeah this is looking at what is it that you do want to grow you know um because she's holding grapes here, so it just reminds me of a vine of grapes. So, you know, growing something that is nutritious and um, that will replenish your soul rather than something that's just a weed. Okay, so five of pentacles. Oh, okay, so you felt shut out about something. There's been something go on that you um, may have um, felt left out in the cold here potentially. And um, we have death, yes definite ending of something this is not surprising so you know this is something that obviously you don't want to create again so I guess this is where it's saying don't look back don't keep looking back I mean this is the thing though Capricorn we still need to heal from these things that have happened to us and that's okay you can do the healing that is required um, but if you've been through the process of that and you're still looking back at these things that have happened um, then you need to really, I, I suppose, become more conscious of 
like it says, begin in this moment right now, right? Um, some of you may need to go back and heal, and that's okay. Okay, this is not to say deny or, um, you know, live in denial as to what's happened. Don't do the healing that you need to do. You 100% do. But I would just say don't dwell in it, okay? So, yeah. And I, I feel like when I'm saying this, it feels like I'm minimizing what may have happened for you. And I don't mean to do that at all. Um, I think it's just important to not keep focusing on the things that do not serve us. Okay, so yeah. Um, the next card we have here is Bloom. Yes, allow yourself to bloom here, Capricorn, because this is really, um, when I was talking before about planting the garden, what kind of garden do you want to plant? You know, is... Um, a garden that's going to bloom and and this is about you allowing yourself to grow into the most um <sighs> colorful version of yourself yeah so okay so bloom two cards for bloom here please two cards for bloom for capricorn please Okay, we've got the Seven of Swords. Didn't like how that came out. One more card for Bloom. The Capricorn. Oh, whatever. <laughs> oh, the, everything's like, oh, fine, you didn't want that one. Well, I'm going to give you all these ones. Is that all right? <laughs> okay. One more card for Bloom. The Capricorn, please. That one's flipped over, and I like how that's happened. What is it? Okay. And that was the one that actually came out before, so it was meant to be, see? Okay, so Seven of Swords, yeah. Um, this is this. This is your thoughts, actually. All, all this stuff going over and over and over in your mind. Like the swords are being thrown at you, but they keep you. It's like you have to keep dodging them. And and I feel like these are these repetitive thoughts in your head about this, you know, um, this here, about this ending in your life. Okay. The other thing with this too, Capricorn is Capricorn. I couldn't even say your your um, zodiac sign properly. Um, is that there is um, there is warmth there's a um, you know like a church behind them where they could seek shelter but they're so focused on um, you know what's right there um, that they are not seeing the bigger picture of things and so this is why it's so important for you to not focus on the ending of what's you know gone on and it's important for you to see where it is that you could A, seek help, and B, um, where you could move to a um, a place that is more, more nurturing for you, for you. Yeah, so the two of pentacles here, this is absolutely a choice. You have a choice of what you think, a choice of what goes on in your head. I know that it can feel like our mind is completely in control. But that, that is incorrect. We are in control of our mind. Okay? We do not have to think anything we do not want to think. That's what a belief is, right? When you look at a belief, it's just a thought that you continue to think on a regular basis. That's all. You can change that at any point. You know, have you ever ever thought, um, you know, or believed something and then you've heard something to the contrary that has resonated with you and you've gone, oh, yeah, you know, um, actually I see, you know, so you see the truth of something or see things in a different way. And so this is what I feel like is very important for you to focus on right now. And this is going to help you begin to change the story of your life. Because if you're always telling the same story, is this how you're, you want your life to be? Do you really want to be out in the cold for the rest of your life? Do you want to be reliving this ending for the rest of your life? You know, it doesn't feel good. But also look at why you feel the need to keep on saying that. Because sometimes there's some sort of payoff for us to keep um, repeating the same old story. 
you know, and I know like years ago I used to sort of be this way or maybe quite negative, I guess, because it, at that point in time I really needed people to come and love me. And so that was my way of seeking that love, but I realised I didn't need to do that. And when I caught myself doing it, I tried, I went, oh, I don't want to be that. I don't want to be that person. Um, and I stopped speaking negatively. And, you know, for a really long time, I actually had nothing to say because it was all negative. Um, and I had to retrain myself to get more on this positive track. And now, you know, things are a lot better for me. So, yeah, just um, so you know, I'm not picking on you. It is just, um, yeah, you know, that I've been there. <laughs> so, um, interesting. This card here, look at this. She's holding up this cup now, right? She's holding it up, and I love this because I feel like this is holding this cup up um, to, you know, sort of to, sh to the light and the sense to shed light on what it is that is in your cup because realistically it's your story that's in your cup right um that you fill your cup up with so this is changing that what do i want to fill my cup up with now and then that's what you present to the world to say this is this is the new content of my cup this is the new story of my life okay so let's have a look at this here welcome the solitude so yeah you might need to take some time on your own just to do this, okay? It is time to replenish your weary soul. Yeah, yep, 100%. After this, after this, there is some replenishing that needs to occur. And that's okay to do, to take that time to do that, okay? Um, and yeah, to really start changing this mindset it does take time and I think it's important for you to be patient with yourself as well. Okay, so let's get some more cards about this. So give me um, two cards about this card for Capricorn, please. Welcome to welcome the solitude. It is time to replenish your weary soul. Okay, so two cards for that card. We've got flight and trove. What am I getting from this card here? This is sort of, I feel like this is you setting yourself free. This is you starting afresh. This is you creating yourself. Creating yourself, creating your life. It's sort of like I get this energy of being reborn again, in a sense. Going back to this childlike energy, the innocence, the innocence of who you are, right? Because I feel like life has trampled over that innocence. And um, so it's going back to that so that you can start anew. Okay, so. Okay, yeah. We've already got one card jump out here, which I really love. I'm going to see if there's two more cards, though. And it's the moon. Oh, yep, there is. Look at that. Love it. Okay, so we've got the moon. We've got the moon here, which is, you know, it's not going... The journey is not seen. It's not always visible. You know, you might get a, a little bit of a peak of the journey along the way. but it can, So it can be unnerving. And it can be a bit scary when you're walking at night down the road, right? And it's there's the shadows and you don't know what's in the shadows. And this can also represent the shadow of ourselves, our own shadow, that we don't want to look at and address, yeah? Um, for example, the example I gave you before about myself being very negative, that was my shadow self, right? And for me, you know, that's not the same for everybody, but for me it was. So I, I often have to look at that and see sometimes that negativity comes back, you know, and it's like, I love myself anyway, regardless of that being there, I still love myself, even though that's trying to, you know, come up. Okay, so, um, yeah, but um, the path is not always clear, and so that can sometimes, 
cause us to not want to actually embark upon the path but you need to okay you need to go along this journey because this is only going to serve you for the good okay so queen of pentacles and she knows um what is in this cup right i mean it's not the queen of cups but i just want to see because the Queen of Pentacles, she knows what she's growing. She knows how to invest, what to invest herself into, what to invest her energy into, what to invest her time into. She's not going to spend her energy and her time um, and, you know, energy being that currency, she's not going to put that into these negative thoughts. She's not going to entertain them. So she's going to learn another way and um and and actually not just learn another way but put that into practice and have that become the norm for her so that she can grow she can invest her energy into what it is that is going to be beneficial for her and this is why she is the queen okay so this is the same for you and the two of hearts love this um, so this could be in a relationship. This could have been the ending of a relationship. Um, but again, this is, you know, you filling up your cup so that when it comes to other people in your life, regardless of what kind of relationship that is, if it's not romantic, it could be friendship, it could be with your family, um, it could even be in a job. You're going to fill your cup with all this positive thinking, for example, right and when people come around you who are super negative it's not going to sit well with you and it's going to be you know a little bit like oh i don't really want to spend my time or put my energy into that any longer okay so you're going to start to really notice it okay the one thing i want to say here capricorn is please don't beat yourself up if this has been the case for you um it's it doesn't mean that you're bad it doesn't mean that you're, um, you know, that there's, you're a terrible person. It just means that there's a change that needs to occur in your life. And when you make that change, you know, this makes you um, the most courageous person next to the person who's not willing to make the change, right? So, yeah, you have the courage to do this and you have the ability as well, um, which is why you're listening to this. Okay, so trove yeah <laughs> this is this is sort of like reminds me of um emptying out a treasure chest um and seeing what you want to keep what gems you want to keep what is serving you what aren't the other thing is the crow um it, it, for me reminds me of the thoughts okay and um it's sort of like very kindly and gently sticking a nice crystal in the crow's mouth to shut it up and it's kind of like doing that with your thoughts to shut them up um to kind of go thanks but no thanks you know who are you going to sit down and have a cup of tea with you know who are you going to offer your time and you know a cup of tea are you going to sit down with these negative thoughts that are putting you down that are degrading you you know if that was people in your life coming in and doing that um are you really going to sit down all day with them? Because that's we spend all day with our mind, all day, every day for our entire lifetime with this. So what do we want to be entertaining? Because if someone comes in and tells you what a piece of crap you are and that you're no good and you're stupid and you're ugly and you're all these things, are you really going to like listen to that all day, every day? on and on and on at you when you go into the bathroom nah, 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 nah. when you go into work nah, 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 nah. is that what you you wouldn't if that was an actual person standing next to you doing that you'd tell them to bugger off right so why let your mind do the same thing so yeah okay so trove two cards for trove for capricorn please two cards for trove for Capricorn excellent just like that okay so we have the four of hearts here yeah this is again these thoughts of what you lost what um, didn't work out okay because you've got the ace of hearts here okay you've been hurt from this um, ending 
and it has been a real heartache. That's not, de- I, I'm not going to deny that. I'm not going to say, oh, that was nothing. Just get over it. Not at all. No way. No way. Because it really did hurt you. And you have had to mend and heal. And um, I want to say, Capricorn, honour yourself about that. Honour yourself that you've done that. You know, that you have had to do that. Okay? And um, be proud of yourself for that. Okay? Don't beat yourself up about the things that you think you didn't do well. Beat yourself up about the things that you're doing well now, which is healing, you know, doing what it is you need to do. Okay? So, um, seven of hearts. Yes, and there's like... So many choices, and, and I feel like with this coming up with Trove, there's so many choices of loving thoughts that you can say to yourself. You've got heaps of them. It's not just one. You know, you can actually sit down and write down, you know, if for every negative thought, you could think of seven positive thoughts, you know, or even just three, <laughs> um, if seven seems too much. But there's a choice. There's always a choice, okay? Um, so... I think the trick is becoming aware of what's going on in here and what this record is that is repetitively playing and um, what it is that you're telling yourself, becoming aware of that, catching it and replacing it with something more positive, okay? Um, so we also have this card here, which... I feel like this is you learning a new song learning to sing a, a new song in your life like so, kind of like it's kind of like composing a new tune which is of your life in a sense yeah I really love that and and there, there's the scroll here so it's this story again right what what's the new story that you're gonna tell and it's kind of like just standing there really pondering like Okay, so what is that going to look like? You know, what is it going to sound like? What's the new story going to sound like? Is it going to be this beautiful, light-hearted music? Or is it going to be this boom, 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 boom music, right? So, yeah. Um, okay, so this says, When you allow your inner light to shine and connect with your divine spark, there is a surge of love, of self, that can override all fear oh yes this is excellent absolutely perfect i love this okay so two cards for that card for capricorn please i'm gonna read it again when you allow your inner light to shine and connect with your divine spark there is a surge of love of self that can override all fear perfect Okay, we have an echo here. Yeah, see, I feel like this is re representing your inner light, right? The moon, okay? And the moon card coming up before, yeah? The, the way isn't always clear, but the full moon shines its light bright, okay? The, the moon, when you think about the moon, it's forever changing, but it's never incomplete. It's still a full moon. It's only the parts that are, the light is shed upon that is revealed and this is saying to reveal all of you to shine your full light not just a portion of it okay and this is going to help this transformation in your life here Capricorn so we've got one card flip up here give me one or two more cards for echo for Capricorn please Here we go. I've got four of swords here. Yeah, taking a rest. You know, this is the healing that is needed. Um, that you need to really go within and um, do this healing because what awaits you here is the ten of hearts, and this is happily ever after. Um, and I feel like maybe some of you really don't believe that that's even possible, but it totally is. But it starts from here. It starts with you. Because you're only going to attract what you're giving out. Okay, Capricorn. So this is crucial that you do what it is that needs to be done to get to this. We've got the two of hearts here, right? 
this is absolutely possible okay so reach reach for the light this is this i feel is your internal light because you can grow this forest of beautiful trees okay with your light you've just got to bring it out you've got to allow yourself permission to bring it out okay so two cards for reach please i'm going to read this card again because this is awesome when you allow your inner light to shine and connect with your divine spark there is a surge of love of self that can override all fear and that's exactly what those trees do when the forest grows right so two cards for reach two cards for reach for capricorn please here we go we've got the king of swords standing in your truth owning it king of swords doesn't need to use his shield because he's got it down packed he doesn't need to yeah so um this is this is 100% you needing to embrace this energy here okay so the next card here is the ace of swords yes your truth a new truth a new truth that you tell a new story that you tell capricorn because you don't need to repeat the old story anymore you don't need to keep repeating this you don't want to relive this every day of your life what you want is this and this yeah this is what is here for you and um i i feel like it depends on what you believe you deserve because for some of you it could be that you don't really believe you deserve that so i think it's it's important for you to recreate a new storyline okay and go back to the innocence of who you truly are and let this new story transpire allow this transformation to happen in your life um, because you are going to be thankful to yourself that you allowed that to happen okay capricorn so it's your choice it is totally up to you it's your decision whether you do that or not but the life that you live in changing that is going to be so much more fulfilling and you're going to grow personally in a way that you could only ever imagine okay so it's totally worth it and you're totally worth it capricorn so yeah i believe i truly believe you are okay so yeah i'm going to leave that with you and good luck with that and invest in yourself because you are worth it okay capricorn Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.